What's up guys? As always, I'm Jalen Russell and this is The Appetizer. For the next six weeks, five times a week, I'll be giving you a team-by-team -team preview of where each team is heading into training camp, giving you a rundown of what moves they made over the offseason and where I think they'll finish when all is said and done at the end of the regular season. First team up is the Atlanta Hawks. They finished 16-22 last season, which was good enough for first in the Eastern Conference, and they ended up losing in the Eastern Conference Finals to the Cleveland Cavaliers. They made some pretty big moves over the offseason. They re-signed Paul Millsap, which was big for that team. He was a big leader for their team, a lot of points, a lot of uh, defense, great production from the power forward spot, and he fits into the system well since he's not really a guy that's going to post up down low with Al Horford and really kind of muck up the middle. Uh, Tim Hardaway Jr. also came to the team through a trade, and Tiago Splitter signed with the team, which was a great move for them. Added some front court depth uh, since he only had Al Horford on the roster last season at center. He also had some great experience uh, making it to the finals with the Spurs. And he also comes from a similar system, working with Pop in San Antonio. He'll fit right into Mike Budenholzer's system in Atlanta. Uh, they lost uh, Damari Carroll, which is kind of big for their team. He was the only player on their starting lineup not to be an all-star last season. But you really saw how much they depend on him last season in the playoffs, uh, just from a scoring standpoint. He was averaging 17.1 points per game in the first two series before he ended up going down with a knee injury and tried to play through it uh, in the Cleveland series, and his production fell a lot. But you just saw how much he was like a vital part of the team, and I think that they really lost a big part of their team with him leaving to Toronto. They have two possible people that can replace him on their team, uh, Tabo Cephalosha and Tim Hardaway Jr. Uh, Cephalosha is going to be a great defensive stopper, but won't give you the same offensive production as Carroll. And Hardaway Jr. can score, and he can play defense. He improved a lot from his rookie season to his second season last year, but he's nowhere near as efficient as Carroll was on either side of the ball. I think it was a big mistake for them trading Kelly Oubre after they dra drafted him. I thought it was a great pick by them uh, to try to fill that void, but I think that they're in win-now mode, judging by how they traded him for Tim Hardaway Jr. to the Knicks. Uh, actually, he ended up going to the Wizards, rather. And... I think that just shows that they want to win right now, and they're trying to win with the team they have, and I think they're encouraged by what they did last season, making it that far into the playoffs. Uh, so now comes the prediction. The Eastern Conference is going to be a lot tougher this season. Uh, a lot of teams improved. A lot of teams made big moves like Milwaukee and Miami. But I think the Hawks will still do rather well this season. They're going to finish off second in the Eastern Conference at 56-26, and 26, and I think they'll make it pretty decent run into the playoffs as well.